there, uh, my name is Tiara Terry and I am in course Education 534 currently and I am doing the assignment that is due this week. It is for the Distant Learning Explainer video and we're just going to jump right into the presentation I had created to um, answer the questions in the assignment. So the assignment behind me is the PowerPoint, it's part one of the, which is the explainer video itself. Um, first question, what is distant learning? So a brief definition that is on the PowerPoint itself, which is saying um, lectures are broadcasted or classes are conducted by correspondence over the internet without a student needing to attend a school or college. So it's pretty straightforward there, all the necessary tools, um, assignments, um, anything that has to do with the course is all done online. Um, so students do not have any type of face-to-face um, -face interaction with their facilitator at all. So um, that is that definition there. What is online learning? So online learning is um, a learning atmosphere that allows the facilitator to utilize a, a variety of teaching modalities to distribute lessons. Um, of course, this not require or um, the student to actually come into the main campus and meet face to face again. Um, so the two definitions do seem pretty similar, but there is a difference between the two. Um, like I said in the, the first question, actually distant learning is more for at home learning only. Um, online learning, um, you can use that as, an hy as a hybrid um, tool for students so that if you are in the classroom and you need to let them know that they can utilize this online tool to be simply directed um, to that source. So online learning can be a hybrid and use utilizing things at home where if someone wants to solely do um, the, the course at home that's possible but uh, facilitators are actually able to use the information from the online learning platform in the classroom as well. So this one here, um, online learning experiences, basically the question is asking what different types of online learning experiences are currently available for students. Um, so basically there's university specific e-courses um, and mediums available. So for example, LoudCloud that we use here at GCU would be a, a university specific platform. Um, and it's another, like any type of source that a, a university would use to upload an assignment. Um, high school online are actually offering online high school classes now. It is a little um, interesting, but it, it, it does get the job done for students to get all the material that they need. Um, and it's even better for those students who um, prefer at home learning or, or parents that prefer their, their um, children to learn at home in the comfortability of their, their house. Um, they offer art and culinary online courses as well, trade schools. Um, everything has been evolving to the point where um, we are able to do those things. So um, again, to answer the second part of this question, it is um, the evolution of online learning and courses have evolved to um, the point of extreme expansion where they have um, all types of perks for doing things online, faster learning, um, the simplicity, it just, it is the type of, it is the trend right now, which is the next slide, it is the trend right now to be fast, simple, and easy, and on the go. So, this one here, um, also it explains um, the planning and design of online learning experiences itself, and, and, and a key to creating a successful online platform. Um, or learning experience is to provide all the necessary tools and materials a student would need. So a lot of questions may be asked during a course and it's always best to provide um, the tools ahead of time, which is sometimes difficult, but it's always best to do um, your best at the beginning. Um, so basically providing all types of Web 2.0 tools or sheets to upload um, for the instructor or the students that want to utilize it. Um, and also um, the importance of, importance of the platform to be easily navigated through. It's something that's not difficult for them to find. Um, materials can be found for assignments easily again, like I had said previously. Collaboration student to student um, can be done and questions to the instructors can be asked and answered, seamless, answered seamlessly. Um, so providing, again, 2.0 um, tools and sheets for them to use. Um, like for GCU, we have loud cloud availability. Um, and then also for the student for future use, they can use it in, pre in next classes and 
um, outside of school as well. There's, there's um, a variety of tools that can be used outside of um, the classroom or online learning. Um, and also tips, so plan for an entire eight to 16 week course in advance. Do not make it complicated to, to contact you. I know some of my professors currently have um, a separate cell phone for classes itself. So the number can be distributed, a, a student can call, text, or email to get a hold of a professor for an assignment. It's very, um, there are a lot of different ways to go about doing that um, and create a detailed syllabus. That's always a good thing to do as well. So the last thing here, which I kind of mentioned two slides ago, was um, the trends in development piece of this um, assignment. Basically, online classes, classes are marketed as on-the-go, fast, faster courses, um, simplicity, and um, a more affordable option, which all, those thing, all of those things are very true. So, um, um, it is, and it is very true, so it does get the praise it deserves through billboards, commercials, and inform, informative inquiries provided by SSAs. Um, a trend of society currently is um, simplicity, like I said before, and online distant um, learning opportunities. So tools, materials, lessons, homework plans, um, everything that can be done online and accessed through iPad, mobile devices, laptop computers, desktop computers, you name it. So development such as hybrid courses, podcasting, um, Google platforms, which are used constantly online, which are amazing sources, and um, Zoom, which is also a video, um, a video option as well, which is which is fantastic, and also allows facilitators, students, and groups to create viable and cohesive platforms for all. So that's basically just um, a very brief little over two to three minutes, but very brief um, oversight of the questions that were in part one of the explainer video, um, and I do hope that these um, the answers to these questions are viable and are good enough to, for this assignment. So um, thank you.